Hello everyone, my name is Brian De Silva and I work with the BMC Tracket technical support team. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to obtain your Tracket license. If you are an existing customer, you simply log into the Tracket support site which is support.tracket.com after you received your order confirmation email. If you are a new customer, then you have to create a new support profile by navigating to the below link. To create your profile, you will need your Tracket serial number from the order confirmation email you received. You can get the Tracket serial number by looking at the chart in the email. So as you can see, the support center uh, says that my Tracket license support plan has expired. Hence, I need to download a new license file from the support site. So let's go ahead and start downloading the new file and replace it on the server. So in order to do that, I will exit out of track it first and then log into the support.trackit.com website and go into the track it tab and in there I see my track it license file over here. So go ahead and download the file. then minimize this and go into the downloads folder and then you copy the license file to the following directory which is C program files x86 PMC software track it track it server there is an existing file in here which is called as a track it.lic we need to rename the file to track it.old and then paste the new file in here. Once you do that, you need to right click on it, go into the properties and select unblock. Then hit save here. Close out of this window. We then need to restart a couple of services. Firstly, we'll restart the tracker service management service. Once that is restarted, if your Tracket web is installed on the same server, we'll restart the IIS admin service. And also the World Wide Web Publishing service. If your Tracket web is installed on a separate server, make sure you restart these two services, which is the IIS admin service and the World Wide Web Publishing service on that server as well. Then close the services window and launch track it just to verify whether our license has been updated or not. Login as an administrator. Go to help and support center. Yeah, looks like our license has been replaced and we don't get the error message which says our support plan has expired and the support expiry is now 2019. I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.